Hey guys, welcome back to another Gaming Memories video. Here we are taking a look at a game called San Francisco Rush Extreme Racing that was actually originally started off life in the arcades in 1996 and was heavily praised for its gameplay style and it was later ported then to the N64 in 1997 and later on the PlayStation in 98 and this game was actually the first game in the Rush racing series pretty much on all consoles so the game itself on the arcade actually got rave reviews due to the fact that the playability and the graphics and so forth plus it was a different style of racing game because you could drive around city kind of like streets and so forth but you could take shortcuts depending on the outcomes of certain areas you were on the level that give you an advantage or a disadvantage depending on what race mode you were racing on at the time. It was quite unheard of especially for the likes of an arcade game. Now when it was released then on the N64 it actually did get kind of like mixed reviews but on the PlayStation it didn't get as, it, it got half decent reviews but not as good as some of the earlier offerings because they said the game although it played well and was fast and the handling was very good and the levels were decent it's just the graphics didn't appeal or didn't live up to the expectations of the arcade version of the game plus they said that the game did suffer with the likes of lag and likes of frame rate issues and so forth so it did get kind of like lower reviews based off of that pre preference but the game actually itself actually did do quite well so it did it offered like a single player like campaign and also offered a multiplayer so you could play it with your mates and so forth and it actually was quite decent so it actually ended up being published originally by atari in the arcade first off and then it was then later then on the consoles it was actually published by midway so they obviously had a kind of like an agreement to publish on different formats but as you can see here the game is actually decent the, gra the graphics are even though right they wouldn't be as good say as an arcade version they can't always get them that perfect some games work some games don't but graphically the game's not too bad and the graphic style like the brightness and the quirkiness of the graphics are actually decent again it wouldn't be the best looking racing game on the playstation i will admit that but having played it myself it is actually a fun title again the, the handling is actually decent but it still takes a little bit of getting used to because it can be a bit a little bit on the twitchy side of times and a little bit fiddly and the ai of the cars as well if you fall too far behind on the track it's very very hard then for you to actually try and gain your position back especially if you topple the car or you crash or if you do happen to take a shortcut and it doesn't work out for you it can actually leave you to lose in less time on each lap but it's still actually a fun title and it's definitely something that was different and even the fact is because this game was released obviously like say in the late 90s, say 96 and then 97, 98 and it was offering, trying to, do, trying to do something completely different in terms of what most racing games offered at that time. I do remember actually seeing this a lot when I used to go to the likes of the game stores and so forth whenever I was going to do a bit of shopping or looking for games. And I'd always pick it up and I'd always have a look at it and I did really like the look of it and I was like, you know what, that's something I, I would actually play. But I just never bought it at that time. I suppose when I look back on the years gone by, there was so many games on the PlayStation I just wanted to buy. I just never had the money to actually buy them. I always would save up enough money with the intention to buy a particular type of game or one or two games and if something else came up, I would nearly pick that. What often happened is as well is a lot of the games that I end up did buying, I've always bought them over something like to this year. I would nearly intentionally actually need to go to buy something like this and then I would end up just seeing something else and that piqued my interest just a little bit more. And that's usually what happened. See, because primarily the, the type of games I used to always mainly buy were mostly the likes of action adventure games, survival horror games like the Resident Evil, Dino Crisis, Alone in the Dark and all those type of games, Silent Hill and either racing games they would be the kind of they were always my favorite kind of style of games on the playstation now i did later on buy a couple of likes of rpg style games and even likes of fighting games i was big into them as well but not as much as those type of games but there was just there's that many racing games on the playstation sometimes it was very very easy to get overwhelmed as to which games you actually wanted like you probably seen like on the channel so far most of the games that I actually do cover are like car style or racing style games because 
I just absolutely love like racing games. I love cars, but I just love the whole thirty-two bit era on the likes of the PlayStation, the older school type of racing games. I remember even years later when I got my first like Windows like PC, the first thing I did was I tried to buy a lot of games or tried to get copies of games and even like in recent years with the likes of Steam and good old games.com I would always be looking to get hands on like if I could get them cheap get like digital versions of the old school like racing games because I love the old school type of graphics with the, the 32 bit style graphics of the games so I do it's my favorite type of style and I just love the racing games from that era I know a lot of them are kind of twitchy and they're glitchy but there's always something just some really unique about them and even though this game, right, it wouldn't have been as well received as a lot of other games out there. And it, it did get decent reviews for the most part. But there's just something about these style of games that really appeals to me. And that's why I actually cover them so much on my channel. Because I really do actually enjoy them. The more I play them, the more I actually start to like them. Even though other people may not look at them. But the way I see it is I enjoy it for what it is. And I genuinely just like to try and give a game as much in-depth information as I can and just to literally just uh, enjoy, enjoy it as much as I can because I'm sure there's other people out there that actually also really like these type of games and I know myself I'm not the only one I know they're not for everybody but there's always somebody out there that these games did appeal to and I happenly was one of them but I just loved the PlayStation that much to, to a point that I was willing to give most games a try and I didn't really kind of like to judge it even games that I found very frustrating I kid you not, I would not let it get the better of me, I'd still keep playing it and make get the most out of it. And that's usually what I did. So games like this here were definitely unique. Even though, like I said, I never got to play it back in the day, but actually having to get to play it now, it does really remind me of why I used to kind of pick up these type of games back in the day, because they're just, there's something about them that just really stands out, and just it kind of just really does capture your attention. And again, I think it's just with the graphical style, it's just it, it's how they made you feel. And I think that's the one thing that actually appealed to me. Like, this era of games, and I, I do mention a lot, is my favourite era of games. It's the main reason why I created this channel. So I do really enjoy games like this here. And even the games that don't, or weren't as well received, I still find that they were actually really good. Some of the, the for me, the best games that I actually enjoyed, and I actually found that I played the most were the games that nobody else actually even wanted to play or would even look at. And... I don't understand why, but I, I can. Un but it sometimes you can you, you can't understand why. But when you think about it, everybody has their own tastes, and for me, I'm just willing to give a game a shot if I think if it's worth it. And this game here is actually really enjoyable. Again, it's fiddly and it's twitchy, but it's fun, and you will have a good laugh, especially if you like crashing an awful lot and just making mistakes and blowing stuff up. You'll have a, you'll actually have a good fun with this, and especially if you want to play something different and quirky. I would give a, recommend giving this a go for sure. So I'd love to know your thoughts on this game, if you played it back in the day, and what did you experience in it, did you enjoy it, or maybe not so much, make sure to share it down in the comments below. So if you have enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, also be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be updated whenever I release future content, and also make sure to share the video, as I will be re-exploring really a lot more of these old classic and quirky style and unusual style games on the Playstation and sharing my thoughts and experiences with everyone. So as always, make sure to keep playing those classic games and enjoying them, and keep those gaming memories alive.